This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Snake Bite Wound Care When safe, take a picture of the snake and send it with the patient. Do not put a tourniquet around the snake bite or injured limb. Do not cut the bite out as this will lead to unnecessary bleeding. Do not suck on the bite to remove the venom. Ask for help. Use personal protective equipment. Wear gloves and eye protection and if needed, a gown and mask. Gather supplies. Clean fluid, syringe, and cannula to irrigate and clean the wound gauze or dressing material, bandages, and plaster or tape. Fully expose the affected area. Clean the wound. Irrigate the wound with normal saline or another clean fluid. Remove any foreign debris from the wound. Apply a clean bandage to the wound. A pressure dressing is recommended if snakes in your area produce a toxin that damages the nerves, causes paralysis, causes the person to become very ill, or if there will be prolonged transport time. Do not apply a pressure dressing if snakes in your area produce toxins that primarily cause tissue damage near the wound and do not cause body-wide symptoms. Assess pulses. capillary refill, and sensation before applying a pressure wrap. Wrap upwards from the lower portion of the bite. The bandage should be firm, but should not cut off pulses in the limb. Assess pulses, capillary refill, and sensation after applying the pressure wrap. Note the time the bandage was placed. Keep the person still and lying down. Immobilizing a limb after a snake bite is important to reduce movement and absorption of venom.